let's calculate the limit of 1 divided by x minus 1 when x approaches 1. We see that we have to calculate the limit of a function which is a quotient. On the numerator we have a number and on the denominator a polynomial. This is a continuous function, continuous in all its domain. So, to calculate the limit, we just have to substitute, and if everything goes well, that's the value of the limit due to properties of continuity. On the numerator, 1, and on the denominator we have 1 minus 1. We can see that it is not going good this way because we have 1 divided by 0. A fraction with a 0 on the denominator does not have any sense at all. However, when we are calculating a limit, we can use these fractions, which means 1 divided by something which is extremely close to 0. A number divided by something really close to 0 is equal to a huge number, infinite. Nonetheless, we do not write the sign of the infinite, which means it can be a plus or a minus, depending on the way you get close to 1. In our case, when this happens, we have to calculate the one-sided limits. This means that when you get close to 1, you can do it coming from the left or coming from the right. When you come from the left, we write it as the limit when x approaches 1 raised to a minus. That means that you come from the left. The limit of 1 divided by x minus 1. And the limit coming from the right is when x approaches to 1 raised to a plus. Both of them will be equal to infinite, but we want to find out the sign. When x tends to 1 coming from the left means that you get close to 1, but with smaller numbers. So what happens if we substitute them in our fu function? The numerator, 1, will always be positive. And the denominator would be a smaller number than 1 minus 1. It's negative. And a positive number divided by a negative number is a negative number. So the limit is equal to minus infinite. You can also ex express x as 0 0.9999 as it as it is really close to 1. And this way you may you may see it easier, but you get to the conclusion that it is negative. When x tends to 1 coming from the right, it means that x is a number a little bit bigger than 1. So the numerator is positive 1. And the denominator, as it is a number bigger than 1, minus 1, is positive as well. So this is equal to plus infinite. This way you can obtain the sign of the infinite depending on the way you get close to 1. You can notice that we do not have a precise answer, but calculating the one-sided 
limits of the function can be really really useful when you try to draw the function